Ben, we hear so many uh, stories about the issues that aircraft operators are having, and especially with certain uh, locales, airports, and communities, in regards to noise. We know that there are regs out there. We know that there's a lot of things that people have to do operationally, if not modifying an aircraft. But what we don't hear a whole lot about is how this technology takes something as powerful uh, as, a, as a jet engine and quiets it down. How does it work? Hush gets work predominantly by the mixing of cool air and warm air. Uh, you have the hot exhaust gases coming through the engine and essentially what we're doing is we're mixing it in the back of the engine rather than the front of the engine. In the front of the engine, all the newer engines, anything built predominantly after let's say 1990 is a high bypass fan uh, motor. The SPAY, which we're hush kitting on the G2 and G3, is a low bypass fan motor. So it doesn't have uh, a lot of bypass air coming around the engine itself and mixing before it exhausts. In order not to change the motor itself and to spend a lot of money basically redesigning the motor, we mix the exhaust air and mix it with cool air and warm, um, hot exhaust gases coming out of the motor in the after the motor in order to save the operator cost and not re-engine the aircraft. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Now what kind of a process, what's the, what's the downtime, what's the uh, installation time, how big a job is it to retrofit something like a G2 or a G3 to this particular configuration? Our downtime is seven to ten days depending on location of the aircraft. Um, it, it, the modification itself takes around five days. The removal of the aircraft components that we remove and the reinstallation of the aircraft components is around a day and a half. There's a 243 pound increase in weight on our hush kit. That's total weight, so that's both sides. How about operating parameters in regards to piloting issues? All the cockpit procedures remain unchanged in terms of um, the way the thrust reverser actually works. This is the existing stage two thrust reverser on the G2 and G3 that um, we modify. So in terms of reverse thrust, it's the same procedures as before. We recommend Gulfstream quiet flying procedures, and we have uh, EPR charts that, um, that direct the, the pilots to, to operate with using quiet flying procedures. Now, another moment of freedom from Sirius Aircraft. Freedom through safety. Perhaps the ultimate freedom is confidence, assurance, and peace of mind. We design it into every personal aircraft we build. It's the security that comes with knowing you're flying the plane with a parachute. The breakthrough concept that launched the Cirrus phenomenon. Now what kind of investment are we talking about by an operator for uh, a full installation? A million one, which includes installation anywhere in the United States. And we actually come to the aircraft. Which is a whole lot cheaper than changing your uh, base of operation if, if that's an issue or in some cases being, uh, being denied access to a number of uh, airports that have become incredibly noise sensitive over the years. It is. It's, um, it's a substantial investment, but uh, I think it's a small investment um, in relation to actually upgrading and, and moving on to a G4, let's say. Now, where else might we see this technology? You're currently uh, just for the G2, G3. Does this extend to any other airframes at this point? Um, we hush kitted the DC-8 Stage 2. We hush kitted the DC-8 Stage 3, Stage 2 707, Stage 3 707, KC-135, Bach 111, and this is our second Gulfstream hush kit. Okay, so in other words, you've got a fair amount of time and grade in this subject, don't you? Our average tenure for our employees is over 20 years, and we've been in the hush kit business for over 30 years. Are you seeing this being the make or break issue to a lot of operators? I think it's a matter of need and a matter of where you fly at this point. Most of the 
hush kits that we've sold, and we've sold um, nearly 80 hush kits so far, have been to operators that are either overseas or operators that want to operate overseas, uh, predominantly uh, operations in Europe and the Far East and Australia. And thank you very much.